Welcome back. So we have achieved quite a lot without using any complex formula. So without writing any complex functions within Microsoft Excel, we have prepared our profit and loss account and we have also calculated some key values that are related to profit and loss account. But to move to the next levels to prepare balance sheet and to perform uh, all the key related ratios we, re we really need to learn a formula language that is available within power pivot and that formula language is called De dax data analysis expressions so the way it works uh, the, the problem that we are trying to resolve is let me explain you that first so first of all in our power pivot when we dropped our values field from the gl when we dropped our values field here into the values column in in this pivot table option if i you know click here and if i show you the value field settings you can see we have multiple options that we can do with data we can do the sum and count and we can also do the average and max and minimum and standard deviation and there are few more options as well in total these are 10 options and if I move to this part here where we can you know show our values as percentage there are some more options as well but you know we have to perform many different kind of calculations and these options are not sufficient for that and for that what DAX will do is DAX will provide us in a complete you know unlimited access to the functions that are available within this language and that will be sufficient to perform any kind of analysis let me show you so if i go to my power pivot tab here and i click on this new measure this measure measure is basically the term that we use for any new kind of calculation so in simple terms you can say a formula in excel we call it a measure so if i click on new measure here if i just click on all the available functions you can see you know we have so many functions with relation to date and then maths and trigonometry and then statistical and text and logical and filter you know and within this you can see that we have so many options available here so all of those calculations can be performed on the data that was available so the first thing that we need to do is you know first of all we'll click on this power pivot here and we will come to the measure and you can manage your already defined measures here or you can click on the new measure and then you can write a new function yourself now let us define our first function and in this function we are just going to replicate the sum that we already have you know available in the standard options but we are just going to replicate that to you know learn how that measure works so first of all uh, we will mention that which table this measure will be stored so it will be just like stored as a value so you can store it in all the tables that you have but we would prefer to keep it in the GL in this case because you know the values are best suited in the GL and then the measure name in this measure name I'm going to call this as total value total underscore you can actually name it anything that you like and after that let us move to this formula tab here now in this formula tab i will simply mention what i'm trying to do so i'm trying to do sum and now i will press the tab key so that this function is selected and now you will notice that now power pivot is basically the dax is giving you the option to select all the different fields that were available here so if you if i scroll down you will notice that you know you have been given a reference that is actually giving you the table name the calendar is the table name and then you have the field name similarly in the chart of accounts you have the table name and then the field name so since in this case your dex has access to all the data all the different four sheets that we have you know made available to our pivot we can use any of the fields and for that the better way would be the uh, you know the way should be that we first refer to the table and that in that table we refer to that particular field name so i wanted to use the total of the value right so i will simply write in the value so i think that um, that thing is not that that column is not stored as value so i will actually scroll down and i will try to find out that in the gl okay so in the gl that column was stored as amount so i will double click here or you could simply write if i just you know delete it 
and I can show you that how it works so if I simply start writing amount you can see that it has given me the option so both of them will work the same in this case but I would prefer to use the one where there is a proper reference where it has first referenced the, uh, the table and then the column so I will use the TBL amount and then I will simply press enter and I will close the bracket now there's one thing that is a little complicated with DAX and then DAX the, that one thing is in our normal Excel Excel usually you know completes auto completes your formula so even if you do a small mistake the Excel takes care of that but in DAX it is exactly opposite so if I only miss the bracket you know this formula will not work so now what we have done here is we have simply given our command to this formula that please do the sum of of all the values that are available in the gl column of amount and that should be named as total value and now let us give it a format as well so i will give it a number format and i will say make it zero decimal and please use the comma separator and i will press ok and you will see that it has made no changes in your data so rather than changing this sheet here i will simply you know replicate the sheet and i will press ctrl key on my keyboard and simply you know click here and drag it down and it should add a new sheet on my excel file and on this new excel file what i need to do is first of all you know since there are already pivot tables available here and i need to add some columns in this pivot table first of all i should be you know adding some blank columns so that there is some blank space available so that this pivot table can be expanded and now in this pivot table what I really want to do next is I want to bring in this new value that I have just calculated. See, the value that we already have is basically the sum of the amount, but in this case that was available within Excel. But now using the DAX function, we also have defined our sum and we want to check if our defined sum is also working correctly. And for that, I, will br I want to bring in that value here as well. Now you can either go to, you know, uh, these tables here and try to find that value that you have just defined and you can see this is the total value that you have just defined we named that as total value and this fx function that is mentioned here this icon here that is showing you that this is basically a measure that you have defined yourself now we can simply drag it down or you can also search your value using the search field here right so i will simply drag down this value from here to my value column and now you can see that the new column has also been added so we have the sum of amount and we also have the total value and if you look closely in all of these different years uh, we can see that our values are exactly the same so of course in this case excel has the function that we could use but in other cases it won't be available so we will have to define our function ourselves and for that what i'm going to do is that in this sheet i'm simply going to you know pull away this sum of amount that was the excel function so i'm going to pull it away and we will live with this total value and now you have these pivot tables that are available you know on your right so if i can simply delete this column so that my dashboard is a little bit uh, compact again now what we can do is that we can go to these fields again and we can you know change do the same changes for the field let us do that one by one so i will simply search here the value and i will drag it down here and it it is you know giving me the same values one more time so i will simply drag out the sum of amount Similarly, I will come here and I will say, let us bring in the value and drag it down. And you can see we have the same values again. So I will pull away the sum of amount. Similarly, I will go to this ibtida and I will say, let's do it the value. And of course, you know, it is not very crucial step. We could use the previous one as well. But as a habit what we are going to do now is we are going to use our own measures rather than using the excel's defined functions right okay so let me quickly do it for these two as well so let us pull it off and finally we have pbit so i'm gonna say let us bring in the values and pull out this one and finally for this one as well the net profit let us bring in the value and sum of amount is excluded here it is so we now everything in this sheet is you know based on 
the measures that we have defined but in the next lecture we are going to do something very interesting and rather than adding the separate pivot tables we are going to define them as measure so the sales the trading uh, the you know the cross profit the net profit the iptida, the operating profit we are going to define them as measure so we will not have to use a separate pivot table or we will not have to apply any kind of filter let us do that